Hi guys, how you doing? All good to see you again. Oh, I finished a little bit earlier today, so I thought, bugger it, I'll just go live. Why not? So, evening Chris, how you doing chap? And hi Wendy, Moose, David, Spur and Glue, how you doing? Great, Robert, hi fella. Hands are going, how you doing fella? All good? Here, yeah, just busy working away and all that. Chris, hi, looks cool that start up. Cheers, pal. Just having a little play last weekend. A little bit of um, a little bit of tweaking of the live intro bit, you know. So uh, who else we got here? Gerardo, is it? How you doing, fella? So back on the old chief chieftain. Uh, Let's just get the second camera up. There we go. So the old chieftain. So there we are at the minute. With all the bits on it, what we've been doing. Now the cool thing is that I didn't realise is you remember I was saying that there's a battery bit. The top doesn't glue on it unclips there's a clip at the very back on the inside and you push it in and then them rubber grommets that i put on the inside last week you just push it down and it's it's solid so it works a treat without having to mess about and we still can turn that and do everything we still got our loose little hatch up the front there that, that turns and goes in and we still got a little hooky bit at the back that opens and closes, so it's uh, quite a few bits of movable parts. So, next up, I do believe, is some little gum bit that goes in here, by the looks of it. So I'll just show you, this is what we're going to be playing around with. This is the bit we're going to be doing today. As you can see, there's a, a little gum bit and all that, and then that clips onto there. And then you've got the baskets and all that. So lots of little bits today. Crazy little stuff. I might as well just get on with it. I'm going to put this lamp on because obviously my eyesight is awful. So I can at least see uh, see what I'm doing. Cheers, David. Yeah, if you can hit the like button, subscribe, whatever, you know, it's all good. All appreciated and all good. So. Right, let's get on. There isn't much left in the box, to be fair. That's it. There's hardly anything left in there. There's lots of little bits, but you know the majority's majority of it's gone. I was actually a little bit. I nearly missed my time to come on. <laughs> um, I've been watching Now TV, and you get Sky One, and I've been watching Seal Team. It's like four series, and. Uh, Glued to it is probably the best answer to what I feel at the minute with it. I'm on season four at the minute on the last episode, and I got like ten minutes left. Do you know what I mean? And I had to stop that ten minutes, like last ten minutes of the last episode of the season, because I realised that it was time to go live, which was like oh, and then a chosen word that I'm not going to say. Uh, so Fred, how are you enjoying your first armor kit? It's been alright so far, Panzer, to be honest with you. Um, yeah, I've enjoyed it so far. Still early days, but I've enjoyed it so far. It's just getting time at the bench. Is is always been a bit of a mission at the minute. Because I've just got my temporary cattle license, so I'm doing training on that. And uh, 
I just passed my animal welfare course, so things are looking up. Lots of studying in between, you know, so it's finding time for different things. A bit of a challenge. Right, so them two bits go like that. <coughs> Does this chosen word rhyme with any chance, duck? Yeah, mate. <laughs> yeah. Also rhymes with truck as well. I'll have to think of new words. So YouTube and Facebook and all their algorithm malarkey doesn't cotton on to the words that I'm actually using. I should make up like a secret code that only us lot know. Sarah. Oh, hiya Sarah, how are you? I didn't see Sarah Jane there, bless her. Hi Dan. You mean cluck, yeah. All good. Let's go clean up that little bit where I cut it off the sprue because it seems like this is all getting stuck onto crazy parts so it's like a some sort of casing thing goes on it somehow <coughs> looks like all this lot gets plonked on the sides and all over so we'll stick that there out of the way. <coughs> Excuse me. Right. E37. It's been quite cold here. So, you know, last weekend I got sunburn on my head. And then all week. I've nearly had frostbite from the cold, so. Uh, where's E36? Oh, there it is. Oh, there we go. Nothing longer lurking. I want that bit. Right. And I want E40. This crazy bit here. I'm kind of looking forward to all that weathering carry on and all that lot. It's something completely different and out of my comfort zone, so all good. Right, so that bit goes on there. Like salt, better clean that edge up quick. Fred, that's what happens when you stay in a shire. Yeah, you're not kidding, mate. I came up here, right? I'll tell you a little story. When I met the missus, she's born and bred here. <coughs> and uh, I used to come up to visit. You know, when an easy jet was like £10 each way, flights. So anyway, I used to come up to visit. Every time I come up to visit, scorching hot day. Absolutely lovely. You know, I'd go back home down south. And I'd have a wicked tan and everyone would be going, where did you go? Did you go abroad? And I'd go, no, Scotland. And they go, what? 
look at your tan, you know. So anyway, long story short, done that for a few years. Then I moved it. <laughs> then I realised that uh, how cold it gets here. <laughs> and that it's not sunny all the time. In fact, sunny is very rare. Uh, so yeah, big shock to the old system. For sure. So I've got this little bit here. I don't know what it is. It's kind of a weird boxy thing. And it's got a, a hole there. And a hatch plate. Now, apparently, if you put it right, which is that way, it apparently clicks in there like so. Get it. Without breaking it. So where does that go? Right, that goes on the side of the tank. I don't quite know what it does or what it's for. Can't even get the damn thing to click in apparently it hmm what a weird thing No, oh, I'm just going to glue that on because I don't like the way that seems. It's a searchlight. Oh, is that what it is? <coughs> All right. Want to borrow my heat guns? <laughs> Should warm me up a bit. Right, it's a searchlight, but I can't get that. You either have it in open or open or closed position. That's your only choice. <coughs> but I think I'm going to have enough stuff in the open position. I think I'm just going to leave that one closed. Oh, evening, Ron. It's doing great with the Chieftain build. I'm doing the Challenger MD MBT. Oh, cool. And cheers. I so said I finished early run, so I thought, you know what, I'm going to try and get a bit of live in. I can't hang about at 8 o'clock, so at 8 o'clock I've got to go kind of thing. Because it's Al Murray and James Holland night, and I still do that on a Thursday, on a Thursday night, so I like to watch that. So next we have E9, which is that way there. This is starting when the madness starts now. When someone I know was, was white as a sheep one summer, they asked me where I got my suntan. I told them I went to Iraq to build sand castles. <laughs> When me and the missus were talking about holidays the other day, I said to her, yeah, I said Syria and that's nice and cheap at the moment. You can imagine the response I got from her. So, there's that bit there. Then I want E46. Whatever that is. Looking. Oink. 
42, 44, 45. Oh, it's a hatch. One of our hatches. Right, so here goes six, seven, C3 and C4. Little rubbery bits. That's three. That's four. So I'm just kind of laying it out how it is on the instructions at the minute. And I want E24. Twenty-three. Whoever here has been confused today, rain, sun, rain, cloudy, rain, sun. Yeah, it was at work. I was outside at my lunch break and it was sunny. And I could feel my head tingling, you know, like the heat. And then next minute it was cloudy and it was like really nippy cold in the air. Uh, e25 and then it started spitting with rain and then it went back to sunny again like mm. right, e25 and there and e17 which is a gun We go, it's starting to get a bit fiddly now. Right, there's the gum, and then E16 is a, another weird sticky out bit <coughs> like you had on the, the gum barrel, and then E18, C. I guess that's an ammo box. Uh, yeah. and that's us for that bit. <coughs> Apparently. So. This bit goes on this bit. I'm going to talk to myself here while I'm doing it. I do that quite a lot. When you say your head was tingling, are you 100% sure you haven't hit by a radioactive spider? <laughs> More than likely being up here, to be honest. Oh, a silly little rubber, rubber bit that goes in there. Now, I'd assume... Holds the gum, uh, the hat, sorry. Right, let's give that one on first. Right, 
Let's see what we do. That's a bit I just glued together there. So apparently that all clicks in. And this, in theory, I've done it right. Should allow it to open and close when the time comes. Fiddly. Really? Spider Fred, Spider Fred. <laughs> Poor old Colin will be thinking I'm taking over his spider pigs. Yeah. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna close that hatch over like so. Yeah. Oh, come on. The only thing I've noticed with this armor malarkey, there's a lot of little fiddly bits. A bit like when I do the photo etch. Which can be a pain. Oh, nearly pinged it. Trying to get it lined up right. I think I've got it. Oh, really? I've got a whole new appreciation for armor builders. That's for sure. Especially ones that do all this with the bits and bobs open and stuff. Like what I'm trying to do. It's um, not simple. There. So I've got my little hatch on there. I think you can see that very well. It'll open and close, but I want the glue to set on the hinge bit first before I start messing about with that. Right. Next bit's this. Have a bit. <laughs> I'm sure there's a technical name for it. That is like a light of some sort by the looks of it. I 
there's not some big old light thing in front of the hatch there. That looks like some sort of searchlighty thingy. For sure. Wait. Next up is hmm. right. Not bad. Excuse me. Right. So obviously it work. You get your newbie prank. Now you prank someone because they're new. So it come to bed in the cattle for the night, and they're all telling me about these Highland cows. <laughs> I have to admit, like the very technical skills, sticky out bits. What does Fred use on his head to keep the rain off? If it's a joke, I'd love to know the answer. So yeah, being a newbie at work, wherever, wherever it's at. <laughs> so yeah, new guy at work. So they tell me last Friday, uh, a couple of Fridays ago, that there's a pen 15 that needs bedding ready for the cattle overnight. And uh, to go to the security office with a wheelbarrow full of straw and ask for the key to pen 15. Now, because I'm kind of in charge of that area now, I was looking on the computer. One, there was no Highland cattle coming in on a Friday evening. And two, there's no pen 15. So I thought, right, you buggers, you're at it. They're trying to stitch me up here. So uh, I went back in the in the room, you know, and they're like, did you find it? Did you find it? And I says, no, I didn't even look. And they're like, oh, you got to go. you got to do pen 15 and all this carry on. I says, no, I don't need to. Like that. I said, you're at it. I think I'm stupid. And they were gutted. It turns out they've all been caught out with it over the years, all of them. And uh, I just refused to fall for it. So that got quite comical because apparently it's one of them had spent 40 odd minutes walking about with a wheelbarrow in the work asking everyone he could see where this pen was <laughs> and uh, there's no such pen and apparently every one of them got caught out with this prank apart from me so I was quite pleased with myself not to be caught out by their little games So I said to him, I said, yeah, I'm not that green, I'm not daft. Right, something like that, yeah. Right, that goes there. Apparently this. That can't go on there like that. Can it? Does that really stick out like that? Oh, well, yeah, it does. Okay. It's 
See how when it's not an aeroplane. Gets confusing. There's so many little bits that I've never seen in my life. Mainly because I've not seen a tank up close. So really I've got absolutely no idea what I'm doing. Hi Michael. How was tricks? So that's where my technical descriptions come into play with a thingy jig and a sticky out bit. Yeah. Oh, that was a bit of a bit of a challenge to say the least. Greg, you need to build a motorbike. I've done one, mate. Uh, I don't know if I've posted it on Fester's group or not, but I've done a motorbike. I've done the, I think it was a 112 Rebel Police Harley. I only done it because I used to remember chips on the telly. And, uh, wasn't cheap though right enough. But yeah, I've done a I've done a motorbike, pal. I do like motorbikes. Motorbikes and cars, I do them now and again, just to keep the mojo flowing. I kinda do a motorbike or a car or whatever, and then I go back to aircraft and then I'll do a motorbike or a car or something, and then I'll do another ten aircraft and I've been like that for years. Just to change things up a little. And then because Ron has sent me the turpits and uh, this wonderful tank kit. For me to have to do it. What's that? YouTube. What? Blah, blah, blah. To do a thread description. It's the commander's rat a tat tat sticky out there. <laughs> Look, you all know what I'm like. It's sticky out bits, finger, bit, finger bits, and what's the call it, and Ujima flips, and when it all goes wrong, like this hatch has just gone loose on me, it's a bad word. Bing my jig. What's I'm gonna call it? Uji my flip. I believe that's just come off on me. That's my fault because I tried to open it while the glue's not dry yet. Evening dad, how are you? He's not my real dad by the way, just for the record. He's everybody's dad. <clears throat> Evening Richard. Cheers buddy. I'm going to put this hatch on later. I want these little pins to dry. They keep moving on me. They're like rubbery plastic. And uh, they're taking a little longer to set. There we go. Then we've got a bit and the hatch will go on. Apparently that all clips on there. Somehow. Like that. I don't know if it can move. No. Right, I've got to glue it on I think. Yeah. I'm going to bum bum build something simple. Yeah. Like a 1350 turpits with dazzle camo. 
or a chieftain tank with loads of sticky out bits. Those was you talking about going on punch from chips. I think so, yeah. The old chips, not that new awful remake. I'm on about the old classic on the telly <coughs> once a week chips. That was cool back in the day. Right, next wonderful bit to do. Just looking on here. Because there is a part I know, actually. So you'll be impressed, Panzer. <laughs> Maybe. Right. I'll show you. If I can. And get it into focus. Right. These bits. I know what they are. There you go. So I know what they are. There for your smoke. To put smoke in the area. That's what they're for. I know that much. They're like smoke launching thingamajigs. <laughs> Dad's everybody's dad, but totally freaked me out when he has a Vader mask on and chases me down the street shouting, Who's your daddy? <laughs> yeah. Evening, John. So, we got a. Oh, let's see if we can get a better light for that. Because this camera is better when it's not got that light on. There you go. So we've got our little top gun on there now and all that. Gobbins. So here's another new word. Gobbins. Yeah. I'm going to start stinking some of these other bits on. So we've got this thing in my bob. It goes on the side there apparently. How on earth that managed to swing around with that big chunk of thing on the side. It uh, amazes me but... <coughs> it's a tank. It's a, a what's him I call it tank. There you go. So there's that big old sticky out bit on the side there. It's quite big on the side, to be fair. I wouldn't want to be standing behind it and the turret suddenly started turning on me. That'd knock you out. You know, if you were standing here and you're minding your own business and it just goes dunk like that, you'd be taken out clean. Taken out by your own tank. Right, so that's that bit on. And that bit. This one goes on this side. Alright. Right, come on to right. that guy. Yeah, that way. Yeah, that's the one, the seventies, eighties. And who remembers Manimal? Does anyone remember that? That was a bit. <clears throat> a bit of a mad program. Manimal. Eric Estrada wasn't bad. I would have no idea. 
There we go. So we've got another sticky out boxy bit on the side there. Starting to get a little bit busy on this now. So then we've got an E6, wherever that is. Uh, something there. Give me a minute, we'll look it up. The manimal. Manimal, like animal, but manimal it was. It used to run about and go shh or whatever and turn into an eagle or a tiger or all sorts of other crazy stuff. Another mad one was, was it Giver? M MacGyver or something. That was another crazy program. And one most of you remember. Monkey magic. Who remembers that? With a floating cloud. And all that carry on. And I think it was Pixie. Oh man, we're starting to get show me age now, little. Age 54. Those are all good fun shows. Yeah, not <clears throat> not so much Monkey Magic, though, eh? That was a bit... kind of... weird, weird stuff, is the best way of putting it. Yeah, definitely not as good as back in the day, that's for sure. Can't beat the classics. I used to know a guy who was from the spitting image of Sandy from Monkey. Oh no, poor guy. <laughs> Never watched Chips, only said. <laughs> only eat them. Chips was alright, man. It's like now they're re bringing out a lot of the cartoons that I remember back in the day, and it's like they've ruined it. All this 3D rendering and all that lot is just spoil it. <coughs> I'm the generation that got AT, Night Rider, Street Hawk, and Airwolf. Yeah, me too, Dan. In fact, I can honestly say. My mobile phone for my different notifications from different sites and text messages and all that lot compiles of Night Rider, the 18, Airwolf, the different notifications and text messages and all that. And then it's the great escape for an actual phone call. That's my ringtones on my phone. So I'm I'm one of the sad ones. Hill Street Blues. Yeah, that was good. That used to have that crazy one in Hill Street Blues that always looked like a down and out kind of fella. Part of member is now name now. He always looked kind of rough, 
like he could bark at you. You know, I'm one of that. He was in Hill Street Blues. Right, so I've got these <coughs> crazy little brackets on the side there I've been putting, popping on. Um, just there it is, one on either side. And that's for them smoke grenade thingy jigs. So, I'll turn it that way. I have. E fifty nine. That one. That fifty nine goes outside. And this one goes on this side. Now, ah, what to do? Now I'll leave them as they are. I'm not going to say what I was thinking there. Mash. Yeah, I remembered Mash. Hi, Colin. Don't worry about that, pal. How are you doing? Mash. I'm trying to think of some of the other crazy stuff I used to watch. Let's get this bit on first. Right. Hot lips in mash. So there's a the thing then. What's your all time overall not just when you were younger what's your all time kind of favourite film or TV series doesn't matter which I think movie wise for me it would have to be Black Hawk Down I could watch that over and over and over again. It's just a brilliant film. The Fall Guy, yeah, I was going to say The Fall Guy was really cool. Colt Seavers. I think that's his name. So that's my little smoky thingy me jig, what some of call it's on. It's gonna be a nightmare to paint this. Empire Strikes Back. Hmm. Yeah. I'm not a big kinda sci fi fan to be fair. Personally, sci fi wise, though, I did like Stargate, Stargate SG1, the original kind of series before it all started going into extras, and, and for me, kind of got out of hand. There was a program years ago, I can't remember what it was called. And it had like the talons in it, but I can't remember what that was. Oh man, there's so many silly little bits on this now. Right. E34. Hi Edward, how are you? Film wise, I have to admit, 
I love the Hobbit trilogy. Do you know I've not seen that? Mime enough to be in Miami Vice when down in Air Beach on a good sunny day I played the soundtrack. Bet that went down well, Graham. <laughs> Alistair, Airwolf. Oh, good man. Yeah, Airwolf was cool. Dominic Santini. Uh, E34. You got me wanting to watch you lot some of the classics again. I have them all. Pretty much. Right. Stick up or stick down? All oh, right, sticks across, okay. Not so little sticky bit, sticky outy bits. Right. That's Earth, the final conflict. Yeah, that sounds familiar. It was like state of the art back then. It was like you had the screen and they just go bring it all out and spread it all out. And this was like, this was before we had proper internet and all that carry on. You know, it was it was pretty much still dial up days, if that, when it was out. So seeing all them multi screens and everything else, it was like, whoa, that was really cool. Who'd have thought years later that we'd all be pretty much doing that kind of thing? There's four or five seasons. Oh, mate. Murdoch was so superb. <laughs> Murdoch was off his nut. I like Murdoch. Movie would be Back to the Future with Doc Brown as a brilliant personality TV show. Would be 18 because of how they had Murdoch. Yeah, definitely. I say when the missus messages me, it comes up the A team, and everyone at work just looks at me. Half of them are young and got absolutely no idea what the ringtone's for, and the other half are like my kind of age or older, and go, "Oh man, that's brilliant!" and all this. So it's quite comical to see the different reactions. Right, I've got silly little tiny bits now, man. I have got figures to paint, so, I mean, look, that's the sort of rubbish that you have to put on a tank. I mean, seriously. Hardcastle and McCormick was a good one. Right, here we go then. I've got five, six minutes left, right? <laughs> Seems we're all getting into the fun of this. What's the worst? TV show you've seen, like one that you would just like, no way. For me, I think it's got to be something like along the lines of Sons and Daughters. You know, that was just what's that all about? Really. <laughs> E twenty three twenty two twenty three. And I said TV show, not YouTube show, so don't be saying mine. <laughs> I mentioned Star Wars, Star Trek, anything with Star, I'm not getting a warning. Falcon Crest. Big Brother's the worst, yeah, I suppose, yeah. I'm probably sure I'm my age saying sons and daughters, to be fair. Like, where the hell does that go? Oh, right well, on the top. Oh. 
under it. Why didn't they tell me to put this bit on first? Before I put the gun on. Instead of making it so the gun gets in the way. Oh. What? We'll look at your answers in a sec. Right. Uh, crazy about food or medicine when they try to stay and they're sitting on it. Uh, any reality TV show. Worst, oh my god, the worst current, naked and afraid. Now, the very neighbours was evil because they got rid of Kylie's bum. <laughs> New series of Miami Vice original cast been made. Yeah, when they remake stuff, it really spoils things. Any home makeover show? Well, yeah, I'd agree with you to a certain degree on that. Um, apart from back in the day when you had, uh, oh, what was it called with Charlie Dimmock? That was always pleasant to watch when you were younger. You'll know why if you remember it well. He had enough going for to make anyone want to do a bit of gardening. That's the worst is street or Yeah, it was a bit corny, wasn't it? The equaliser was kind of cool-ish. I don't want to say too much now. I'll get slammed left, right and centre. I hate it when they remake stuff. They never do a good job on a remake. Even the new Total Recall remake was absolutely awful compared to the original. You just spoil it. Right, so. The ground force, that was it. Oh, Charlie Nipplees. <laughs> Sorry, I'm going to say it so I don't get into trouble. <laughs> but you'll know what I meant. So anyway, there we go. There's our tankage. We've got some crazy boxes on the side there, some crazy little gun smoke bits, a little sticky outy bit there sticking out, a gun and all that on the top, and a hatch is in the open position. We've got some other weird gubbins going on on it. And uh, a hatch opens and closes. If I really want to close it, I don't want to close it too far because I won't be able to open it again. But a hatch opens and closes, but I will have a little figure in there, so I'm going to leave it up like that for now. Um, so yeah, a bit of tankage going on. Lots of bits of gubbins going on it. And it's starting to look pretty cool. The nervous bit will be soon enough. And it all, of course, moves around and does what it's supposed to do, like it says on the tin. So, all in all, good fun so far. Don't quote me on that. <coughs> I'm not getting excited. I'm not turning to the dark side. You know, but, um, yeah. So, that's it. Eight o'clock. I'm afraid, sorry to say, and that's my Al Murray chill out evening now. Um, I'm under the impression that on Monday I've got the day off, so I might do a little live on Monday. I'll definitely be on on Sunday. Uh, Saturday, we'll see how I feel. Um, we've got to do a bit more on the turf bits as well. So I'm, ju I'm just going to kind of shuffle between them as and what I feel like doing. 
the turpits needs a little bit different brain set so I like to kind of have all day relaxing before I tackle that and um, whereas the chieftain uh, I don't mind so much when I'm half tired so uh, yeah all good as always really appreciate everyone popping by clicking like clicking thumbs down thumbs up whatever you want to call it and uh popping by and chit chatting and everything else so uh yeah all good so cheers for that always a laugh and an interesting conversation going on somewhere along the line so take care everyone stay safe look after yourselves and like i say maybe saturday but definitely sunday and more than likely monday i'll be about uh, and that's it really you know where i am if you want me just send a message when i finish work or in a lunch break i'll reply and that's it really cheers richard good show fred stay safe buddy no worries pal you take care and uh yep that's it i'm gonna have a quick one rum not 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 a Friday night rum, <laughs> a working day rum, so just a little one, no half litre bottles, so, uh, right, that's it, anyway, bye for now, and stay safe, and take care, and I'll see you soon, bye for now.